guys welcome back you're probably wondering what on earth could be the best shower caravan hack and well i was in bunnings the other day and i have found this ryobi drill microfiber pad set so it's just there so we've been living in our caravan now for about 13 14 weeks and i've tried cleaning it multiple times with the microfiber cloths but it's just not budging or soap scum so yeah, when Miles was in Bunnings the other day, I saw these and I said, let's give this a go. Um, and hopefully this is a hack that you can adopt into your own caravan or even your shower at home. Alright, so I've just opened it up. So you've got ugh, one end, which is the, I don't know, the rough side of, what do you call it, Velcro? The rough uh, Velcro the grip, side? Grip pad. The grip pad. Um, and we've got a soft spongy microfiber side and then you've got the fluffy microfiber cloth which kind of reminds me of a car wash. Noodle pad. A noodle pad, <laughs> there we go, it's called a noodle pad, so. <laughs> um, it's got the hexagon um, attachment there. We're obviously not sponsored by Ryobi and we have Makita so we're going to use our Makita drill. <laughs> um, and it all fits. Alright, let's give this a go. Oh, um, also before I forget, so in your white showers, it is recommended that you don't use anything abrasive. So um, originally I thought I'd be using pink stuff or gumption for the shower because that's what other big families recommend to use. But we were specifically told do not use that in our shower um, because it scratches all the inside and then you're going to get mold and other things growing in those grooves. So in Coles, I bought the shower power gel. Um, it's septic safe, which I really like, and I'm going to give this a go. It says that you can use it in your bathroom, and it's a toilet cleaner. So there we go. Um, we'll give this a go. I haven't used this before, so I'm not sure what to expect, but hopefully good things, because I do like their shower cleaner. Uh, no, their oven cleaner is really good. Let's tip. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You say you want to talk, but all I'm hearing is a monologue. Who do you wanna be? You say you're really deep, but I can tell you don't know why. Alright, well Miles just finished up with the shower, so it's um all a little bit wet, so it works out in our favour. So let's give it a go. Looks like someone's peed in here. <laughs> And I'm just using my fiber cloth for the rest of the van because there's no way I could do the whole the whole shower with the drill. It just kill my back and take too long. All right, so I've finished scrubbing and we're gonna rinse off now, and then I'll squeegee, and then we'll show you the end result. product um, I think a little bit of excellent mold would still be useful for the uh, silicon bits but otherwise it's all come up really clean um, I think that it definitely helps cleaning all the soap scum and just that really big build up and grit um, like especially along the foot pad um, a little bit of um, excellent mold would be good here I think um, and just because the grooves are quite small there but otherwise the wool itself is so clean now. It looks really good. Um, it feels really nice and smooth. It doesn't feel like it's scratched or anything like that. So if you are concerned about that, I reckon give this one a go. I hope this is useful for you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out our channel and leave any comments. And what do you clean your showers with? I'd love to know. Thanks guys.